my bestie boos. Welcome back to my channel. I am the mom Latrice. If this is your first time joining, thank you so much for taking a chance on your girl and I hope you stick around. If this is not your first time, thank you so much for your support. I hope you are subscribed. I appreciate you so much. Thank you again. Today we're going to be talking about the dupes, okay? These are dupes of fragrances. They're not necessarily intentional dupes, but these are things that I find smell exactly alike or smell so similar that you can own one or the other in your collection. Of course, I want everything. I want them all. I'm not really a dupe person um i'm not really into dupes heavy but i do enjoy a dupe honey if it smells so similar and i can save a coin why not and then i'll buy the original later on but you know i'm all about saving a coin i'm all about putting you guys on to things that can save you some money but at the same time are luxurious and high quality if you like people who keep it real if you like people who keep it positive and who keep it pushing then this is the place for you now let's get into this video okay, first up this is a fragrance that the original, okay, I'm going to talk about the original versions first and then I'll let you know what I think is a dupe or is a very close second to that fragrance. So this is a perfume that I owned, but I decluttered earlier this year. Um, this fragrance is La Via Belle, okay. I own La Via Belle in Tensimo. I believe is how you say it. I owned it earlier this year, but I found that it's something that I wasn't reaching for that much. Um, I feel like Intensement La Via Bill is more wearable than the original La Via Bill, um, but I wasn't enjoying it as much anymore. And so I went ahead and decluttered that fragrance. I sold it to someone else so she can get the love that she deserves. But I found this year, um, Bath and Body Works released another fragrance. It's called Luminous. So this is Luminous by Bath & Body Works. I purchased this smaller version because I just wanted to try it out. I love Bath & Body Works. I don't talk about it a lot on this channel and I'm probably going to do that more because they have amazing sales. Amazing sales. <laughs> They're probably having a sale right now. But this one, I smelled it and I'm like, you know what? It smells like something. And it was driving me nuts. It was driving me absolutely crazy. And then I was talking to someone else and they were like, Oh yeah, this smells like La Via Bell. And you know what? Now that's all I smell. This is a perfume spray. So this isn't like a standard body mist from Bath & Body Works. I believe this is actually the perfume, Eau de Parfum, I believe. And it smells exactly like Lancome La Via Bell. It smells just like it. And it's really inexpensive. Um, it's a lot, I don't know how much La Via Bell costs retail price. But this is a fraction of that price and it smells so similar that if you really love La Via Belle and you don't either want to spend the money on it or you're budgeting and it, you don't feel like it's worth the money, I would definitely recommend you go to Bath & Body Works and smell luminous because it is a spot on dupe, honey. I don't know how Bath & Body Works does it, but it is a spot on dupe of La Via Belle. And it also lasts a good long time as well. A lot of people think La Via Belle smells mature and I don't necessarily think it smells mature, although I'm <laughs> I'm not a teeny bobber myself and maybe that's why I don't think it smells mature. I think it smells pretty good. I think they, you know, when it first came out, it was, it was like that girl. It was that girl, like everybody wanted La Via Belle. And now I feel like people feel like it's dated, um, but things change over time. I think it's beautiful. My mother loves that perfume. And like I said, I even owned the intense version of that perfume that I really enjoyed up until earlier this year. So it's a pretty fragrance. I don't own it in my collection, but if you like that fragrance and... I definitely would recommend you go ahead and get Bath & Body Works Luminous. I like it enough to where I bought Bath & Body Works Luminous. Um, I don't want it for the full bottle, but yeah, this is a dupe. Now, this one is something that I have been wanting for a long time. It's been on my list to buy for a really, really long time, and I don't know why I haven't bit the bullet. Um, I've purchased several fragrances in between wanting this fragrance and now, but for some reason, I just have not bit the bullet and I don't know why. This is Mancera's Coco Vani. So I do not own Mancera Coco Vani, but I'm sure that I'm going to buy it probably in the next couple of months because once spring comes, once summertime comes, I love that scent profile. 
coconut and vanilla honey is just <laughs> chef's kiss. So <laughs> I'm sure I will go ahead and bite the bullet and buy Mancera Cocoa Vanille in the coming months. But as of right now, I don't have it in my collection. So when the summertime came, you know, and I think it was June, I first started talking about this fragrance. I was like, coconut? Hmm, let me see. Uh, let me see what this is. You know, let me try out some Arabian fragrances, honey. I love me some Arabian fragrances. And I came across this, Kayad El Fursan. And I'm sure you've heard about this on my channel before. This is coconut. Ugh. It's coconutty. It's tropical. It's very, very pretty. I layered it in the summertime with um, Alien Goddess. I layered it with um, Latafa Yara Tooth, the one in the Goldenrod bottle. This one is super pretty and it reminds me of Mancera's Coco Fini. And I think once I got this, that's probably why I didn't buy Mancera uh, Coco Vini. Because once I got this, I was like, you know what? I can hold off. <laughs> like this was so inexpensive. Like I think this was like $19 when I bought it in the summertime. So I'm like, I'm not about to spend $100 on Coco Vanille if I have this one, but I am going to buy it eventually. I am, but this has been holding me over. This is a dupe in my opinion. Now I'm sure some people are not going to agree with me and that's okay. We, you know, to each his own, honey. But I feel like this is about an 85 percent dupe of that so it gives me that dna it gives me the tropical vibes it's very pretty it's very inexpensive i absolutely love this fragrance like i said i layered it a lot i wore it a lot in the summertime we were going to jazz festivals and outside outdoor activities like this fragrance is perfect for all of that and because it gives me the vibes of coco vanille i was super super happy and I definitely think it deserves to be on this list as a dupe. This next perfume is one of my favorites. I adore this house. I adore this line. I even adore the founder. I think she's a sweetheart. Okay, this is Kayali. This is Eden Juicy Apple 01, right? Can you see that? Mona Katan is beautiful. She's kind. I've heard so many wonderful things about her. I've never met her, but she's actually commented on one of my videos before. And I just thought that was like, like, I'm not going to tear up. I'm such y'all, if y'all don't know, I am such an emotional person. Like I cry at the drop of a hat. My kids laugh at me all the time, but she didn't have to do that. Even if it was her team, it's a reflection of her. So you do what what she would want and so for her to comment on that and just show some kindness to I think at the time I had like 50 subscribers 100 subscribers I don't know but I thought that was just so sweet <laughs> of her and I already adore the Kayali line I mean no disrespect of Kayali shall be tolerated on this channel honey okay but I love eating juicy apple I love it for fall apples are perfect for fall it's like apple picking season um i'm gonna wear this in the winter time as well i think this is like the number one apple fragrance in my opinion okay it's a sweet juicy apple it's like a sweet juicy apple like apples and like sugar i love it not a baked apple not it's not a baked apple it's just a sweet juicy apple i mean it reminds me of apple picking in California in the fall. I've actually done that. And that is what this really reminds me of. So when I bought this other fragrance, I was like, you know what? This kind of reminds me of something. And, and it was Eden Juicy Apple. This is Ariana Grande's Thank You Next 2.0. So this one, I don't know if the notes are the same. It's not a 100% dupe of Kayali Juicy, Juicy Apple. Kayali Eden Juicy Apple. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> but this one I was in, where was I? I think Burlington or Ross, honey. I'll be shopping, honey. So I, I don't know where I was. But 
I was, I own the original Thank You Next. So when I saw 2.0, I was like, you know what? It's really cute. Let me try it. I love Ariana Grande fragrances. I think they're very crowd pleasing. They're inexpensive for the most part. And I think she does a pretty good job for a designer house. Like her fragrances, like if designer, you know, I mean, not designer, but celebrity fragrances are, are here and designer is here and niche is here. I would say Ariana Grande is, right here up under the designer fragrances I think she does a really excellent job um but this one is it's a lot more inexpensive than Cali Juicy Apple because I bought it in Burlington or Ross or wherever I was but yeah it's it's nice I would say if you can't afford a full bottle of Cali Eden Juicy Apple this would hold you over until you can afford Cali Eden Juicy Apple because you definitely need Cali Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, Kayali. I'm sorry, Mona. I can't even talk today. Kayali eating juicy apple. Okay, if you can't afford a full bottle of that right now, then go into Burlington, go on Amazon, see if the, the one ounce is available, and this will hold you over. I definitely think you need the original Kayali eating juicy apple. It, it, it is a masterpiece, in my opinion. But like I said, to save you a coin, if you can't get it right now, I would definitely recommend Thank You Next 2.0 if you can find it. Okay, this next one is one of my favorite perfumes, especially in the summertime. It's a spicy fragrance. It's It smells luxurious. It smells like a woman who has a little bit of coin in her pocket. <laughs> Not me, but it smells like her. <laughs> this is Jimmy Choo's I Want You. And I have the big bottle and I got this earlier this year and this is just the dent from the summertime. I love it. It's spicy. It's very feminine. It's it's floral. There's some peach in there. It's a very, very pretty fragrance. I layer this with most any peach fragrance you can layer this with to bring out the fruitiness a little bit more. I think it's perfect by itself. It's not a beast, but the projection is moderate to high. So if you spray this, people are going to smell you, okay? This is a very, very pretty, spicy, effervescent fragrance. Um, but I feel like a dupe of this, I don't know if it's intentional. I don't know if it's intentional, but like I said, Bath and Body Works, y'all be duping, okay? Y'all y'all do be duping. So this is Chasing Fireflies by Bath and Body Works. This is also um, very fruity. This is Golden Pear, Jasmine Blooms, Illuminated Woods, or whatever that means. This is definitely a pretty spot on dupe of Jimmy Choo, I Want You. And because it is a dupe of that fragrance, I layer them a lot. Like I'll use the body wash of Chasing Fireflies and then I'll do the lotion and the spray and then I'll go over the top with I Want You by Jimmy Choo. I think it's a pretty close dupe of this fragrance. But, you know, like I said, I don't buy fragrances specifically to be a dupe of anything. Like if I want a fragrance, I'm going to save, I'm going to work, I'm going to get the original version of the fragrance but like i said um if you don't want to spend the coin on i want you this will hold you over for sure this is a really good dupe of that fragrance and it's also a good layering combo if you already have i want you by jimmy Choo. i think it's really pretty very feminine effervescent honey it, it's very spicy it's gonna tingle your nostrils i really really like it Okay, I had to pull from my winter collection behind me for this one. This is getting a little touchy because I adore this perfume. Like, this is like top five vanilla fragrances, in my opinion. Niche, especially. I adore this perfume. I remember the very first time I smelled this, it is imprinted on my memory because when I smelled it, I was absolutely in awe. I had never smelled anything like this. This is the most unique fragrance that I had ever smelled at the time. Now this has been at least a year ago, but I really, really adore this fragrance. And while nothing will ever totally compare to it, I think I found a pretty spot on dupe for this. And I'm happy and I'm sad at the same time because I don't want this to take away from how amazing this fragrance is. This is Zerjov's Casa Marati Zama Bianca. 
she is that girl for life for life she is that girl for life i adore this fragrance this is so unique like if you've never smelled this fragrance you have to at least get your nose on it you know it's expensive it's very expensive but like i said i don't mind spending for things that are worth spending for and i'll save my coin everywhere else i'll use a coupon honey i'll do a promo code i will save up i'll work some overtime i'll, I'll do what i need to do this is a beautiful unique fruity vanilla fragrance and the fruit in here is not a fruit that is a usual fruit i want to say it's a kumquat or a lime or but dama bianca is an absolute masterpiece it is a masterpiece. And this was the first Zerjov Cosmorati fragrance that I owned in my, that I bought. Um, and now I own three because this was an absolute amazing introduction to this house. Uh, whoever, I need to find the perfumer, okay? The nose who created this fragrance because I just want everything that this person has created because it's so unique and it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. I, there are no words. I, I have nothing else to give you. <laughs> this is beautiful. But I was spraying and I was looking around and, you know, I started spraying something and I'm like, you know what? This kind of smells like Dama Bianca. Like, am I going crazy? And then I was talking to someone, like chatting with people in, in this group that I'm in and, and they said the same thing. And then I'm like, okay, I'm not crazy. I, I'm not losing my mind. You know, other people think this too. This is Sol de Janeiro's Brazilian Crush Cheriosa 40. Okay, Cheriosa 40 is Amber Plum, Vanilla Woods, and Praline, and all that good stuff. This, you guys, <sighs> smells so much, like, so much like Zerjoff's Dama Bianca. Now, like I said, honey, you're, you're never going to get 100%. Dama Bianca is an absolute masterpiece. Like, we're not taking anything away from Dama Bianca. But I own Cheriosa 40 for a long time like a few years now and as you can see i obviously love it because look where the dent is and then i got dama bianca earlier this year and i'm like no wonder i love it because i love cheriosa 40 so if you cannot afford dama bianca i'm gonna put you on y'all go get you some cheriosa 40 and it will hold you over until you can get dama bianca the original because there is nothing like the original I um I love dupes, but I'm never going to be the person to say, oh, get this and you don't need that. No, no, I'm never going to say that because when I love something so much, like I can tell the difference. Like my nose is very sensitive. I can tell the differences, but this one is pretty close, y'all. I'm not going to lie. Okay, another one that I have found um is a lot of people. Well, let me not, girl, let me don't lie. I didn't find this. I heard this from so many different people that I was like, you know what, let me try it because I'm not the biggest fan of this fragrance. So it's not something that I would have spent my coin on anyway. This is Zerjoff's uh, Herba Pura. Okay, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Herba Pura, Herba Pura. I don't know. People pronounce it all different ways, but Zerjoff's Herba Pura. Okay, I'll put the picture on the screen so you know exactly what I'm talking about because I do not own this in my collection. It is not my favorite favorite scent profile the fragrance is nice to me i appreciate fragrances for what they are i mean even things that people think are horrible i would never say that because somebody likes it you know so i don't think any fragrance is absolutely horrible but herba pura is not something that i would spend my money on it's just not it's not my favorite scent profile but this one it is it's it's a dupe it is a dupe. This is uh, El Haramain Amber Oud Gold Edition. I'm sure you guys have seen this all over YouTube, all over TikTok, all over Instagram. And I will say it is a near spot on dupe of Zarjoff's Herba Pura. If you like this scent profile and like I said, you can't really afford or you don't want to afford Zarjoff's Herba Pura, I think this is worth it. Um, it's it's fruity. I don't know how to describe that scent profile because it's very different. If you smell Arbapura and you know what I'm talking about, put it in the comments below. How would you describe that fragrance? Because I really don't know how to describe it. It's definitely fruity. 
Um, there's something when you spray it at first that kind of tinges the hairs in your nose. Um, but I, I, I like Amber Ugo because I spent a fraction of the cost. So yeah, of course, I'm going to buy this. And because I don't enjoy the original Arbor Pure as much as I do my other fragrances in my collection, then this will suffice for me. I'm good with this. I'm so sorry if you hear any background noise. I live in an apartment complex and <sighs> the walls are, are not thick. Let's just say that the walls are very thin and I can hear my neighbor's kids or grandkids screaming and I love children, so I'm glad they're having a good time. But if you hear that, please forgive me. There's nothing I can do about it. And I just, I'm just going to power through this video. Okay. This next perfume is a love for me as well. I absolutely love this perfume. It's strawberry. It's really aromatic. Some people think it gives them Baccarat 540 vibes with the strawberry in it. I don't think that, but it's very pretty. This is Burberry Her. This is the original Burberry Her, not the Elixir. The Elixir is not in this video or on this list. This one is so pretty, you guys. It is very, very, very strawberry. Oh, it's so, like, when I smell it, I think pink. I think pink and flowers. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. It's strawberry. It's sweet. Um, It's a little airy you know i think that's why people get the baccarat 540 vibes from this although i do not think they smell alike at all um it does have that quality to it though maybe in the dry down a little bit but this one is a very beautiful fragrance and it's very very popular for very good reason you know it, it, it is that girl she's very very um uh, much that girl so you know this dupe of it you know i think it's pretty close it's pretty close and you probably heard this before this is bath and body works fall in bloom now the first time i smelled fall in bloom yep that's burberry her <laughs> that's burberry her um the first time i smelled fall in bloom i was at the gym you know i go through my phases of trying to be healthy okay so <laughs> i was at the gym and this lady walked by me i was leaving she was coming in and she walked by me and I smelt her and my head turned, like my head turned. I'm like, what is that? That smells amazing. And I was like, are you wearing Burberry Her? Cause I'm pretty good at fragrances. Like I can pretty much tell what somebody's wearing and I'll tell them what they're wearing. And I would say 95% of the time I am correct. But she's like, no, no, I'm not wearing that. And I'm like, I was confused. Like I'm pretty good. Like that smells like Burberry Her. Um, <laughs> Um, but then she was like, no, I have it with me though. So she pulled it out of her gym bag and it was fall in bloom. It was fall in bloom. And that's when I was like, oh, okay. Bath and Body Works. I see y'all. I see y'all. That was Burberry her. Okay. She just doesn't know that it's Burberry her. <laughs> so this is a pretty close dupe of Burberry her by Burberry. It is. It just is. It's very pretty. Um, and again, I, I don't wear this to replace Burberry Her, but I use it to layer. Okay, so I'll do the body wash, the lotion, the mist, um, and then I'll put Burberry Her over the top of all of that because it is so close in its scent profile that it will just amp up um, Burberry Her's scent and it'll help it last on me throughout the whole day. So yeah, that's a dupe, girl. Okay, this next one I had in my, what was that? My date night fragrances. So if you have not watched my date night fragrances, I will link that above. Please go watch date night fragrances so that you can smell memorable and amazing honey on your date night or any time of day, any place, any time, any location. <laughs> Those are good for any time. But yeah, this is uh, Viva La Juicy's Juicy Go Couture. I've told the story about how I found this fragrance on my channel before. I was, it was love at first sniff. It was love at first sniff. I absolutely adore this fragrance. It's very caramel. It's sweet, but it's not dense. Like Dama Bianca, not Dama Bianca, I'm sorry, you guys. Bianco Latte is a beautiful caramel fragrance, but it's super thick and dense and like it will wrap its arms around your whole cubicle if you wear wear that okay but this one is not as heavy as bianco latte 
but it's so pretty. It's, it's sweet, but it's feminine at the same time that it is, you know, airy. I have gotten so many compliments on this since I had this. I was walking in the mall and people were like, what are you wearing? I went to go take an Amazon return bag and people, the lady at the counter was like, oh my God, like her eyes went big when I walked up to the counter because she smelled this on me and she just made me write down the name of this so that she can go buy it. This is absolutely beautiful. And now that the winter is coming and the cooler months are coming, I'm going to really get my use out of this because this really is a cool weather fragrance. It's so pretty, you guys. It, it is absolutely pretty. And I don't own any of the other Viva La Juicy fragrances in, in my collection. I actually almost didn't buy this because I'm like, I don't wear Viva La Juicy anymore. You know, it just reminds me of when I was a teenager. But this one, this one is beautiful. Okay, so I might have to go revisit those. But yeah, a dupe of this is i don't know if it's an intentional dupe i'm not saying that but this is ariana grande's sweet like candy i have the little one of this these two smell almost exactly alike <sighs> beautiful absolutely beautiful beautiful absolutely beautiful like <laughs> they're both so pretty i really love them both um, but if you have one or the other, you probably don't need the other one. I'm just going to be honest about that because they smell so good. They smell so good and they smell a lot alike, a lot alike. Um, but yeah, these are so pretty and they are definitely, you know, similar in profile. So they are unintentional dupes of each other. And I think they're both pretty and I'm glad I have them both in my collection. But if I had to pick one or the other, honey, I'm going to go with the Gold Couture. I'm going to go with the Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. This is patchouli, but I'm not the biggest patchouli lover, but this patchouli and this patchouli -er is patchouli -ing. Okay, <laughs> this is patchouli the way I love patchouli. This is a beautiful fragrance. And this is the only one that I own in this entire house, from this entire house. This is Louis Vuitton Atrape Reves. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know how to speak any other language other than English and a little bit of Spanish. Okay, so this is Louis Vuitton's Atrape Reves. This is beautiful. Like this fragrance is grown woman okay this is a grown woman fragrance this is beautiful like if i had to pick one fragrance that is a luxury and i wanted to smell different and i wasn't gonna pick donna born aroma i would pick this fragrance this is louis vuitton atrape revs honey i i don't own any other Louis Vuitton fragrance and if I never own another one I'm happy that I own this one because it's just that good um it's fruity it's a fruity chuli it's a fruit chuli I think is what some people call it it's a fruity patchouli fragrance I don't know how else to describe it it's very 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 pretty I love that one but Bath and Body Works was up to it again Bath and Body Works was up to it again and <laughs> this smells just like it this is into the night by bath and body works into the night so if you want to know what a trope rev smell like go on and spray that it's scary close <laughs> it's scary close but again like i said i am not gonna get rid of a trope revs and when I run out of a Trape Revs, I'm still going to buy a Trape Revs because it's that good. It's that unique. It's that beautiful. Like, you need this. You need this. Do not pick this over this. But you can have both of them in your collection because Bath & Body Works is so inexpensive. And like I said before, I use this to layer with a Trape Rev. So, yeah, y'all, they, they getting good with these dupes. This one is close. This one I found completely by accident. I was, you know, I love fragrance. So <laughs> I was just like trying stuff on, smelling things, trying something else on, smelling things. And I came across this concoction that I put together and I was like, oh, is this what I, does, does this smell like what I think it smells like? <laughs> I crack myself up if you can't tell. <laughs> 
but this is Tiziana Terenzi's Cassiopeia. I do not own Cassiopeia. It is on my list to purchase one day, but I have been spending a little too much money, you guys. And so I have officially put myself on a no buy. I am on a no buy. I am not going to let myself buy anything else. Please hold me to it. Hold me to it, you guys, because I'm trying to save money, okay? I would like to own a home one day. I don't own one right now, but this was absolutely by accident. Tiziana Terenzi's Cassiopeia is a beautiful scent profile. I don't own any Tiziana Terenzi's, but I've smelled a lot of Tiziana Terenzi fragrances. I bought decant samples of them because I love fragrance. I feel like it's my job to kind of stay up to date on perfumes if I'm going to do YouTube perfume, you know, video sometimes. Um, so I do know exactly what that smells like. And so I was playing around in my perfumes and it was a little science experiment, okay? That's how I felt like a little scientist when I figured out this concoction. This is Al Haramain, uh, what is this called? Hold on, let me see. This is the perfume oil. I forget the name of this. I will put it on the screen, but y'all know what this is. This was going around TikTok famous. I actually was duped before and bought one and it was a fake one, um, but this is the real one. And this is the perfume oil. So it's the oil here. It is so pretty. It's very fruity. It's really rich. It's a really richly scented perfume. And I have put some of that on my wrist and then I was doing something else. And then I sprayed Amber Ooh Gold on top of that. And I was like, wait a minute, I already had something in this spot. And I remember that it was this with this on top. And these two together smelled just like, in my opinion, Cassiopeia by Tiziana Terenzi. Now, like I said, I wouldn't get one in place of the other. I'm still going to get Cassiopeia eventually one day. Um, but these two together really, really, really smell like Cassiopeia. And so I wanted to put that on the list so that you guys could try it out for yourself. If you've never smelled Cassiopeia and you're interested in it, or you like Tiziana Terenzi fragrances, um, I feel like Amber Ooh Gold, the DNA in here reminds me of Tiziana Terenzi DNA, if that makes any sense. Like, there's something in here that gives me a Tiziana Terenzi vibe, um, but it's not a, a total do. But when you put that perfume oil on top, it smells like it. It really, really does. This one is an honorable mention because this fragrance is discontinued. I don't know why because it is absolutely beautiful and I wish it wasn't discontinued, but I have a bottle of it, so I'm going to cherish it forever. But I'm really glad that I found something that smells just like it because when I run out of this full bottle, I'm going to use this dupe of it. This is um Valentino's Donna Aqua. And I don't know if some people haven't even heard of this fragrance. This is of the Donna line, you know, Donna Born in Roma, Donna Born in Roma Pink, Donna Born in Roma uh yellow dream you know they have so many donna born aroma coral fantasy they actually have an original donna as well i also own that one because once i love something i need everything <laughs> i need everything so i love donna born aroma so much so i have all the flankers and when i heard of this one i think there's a, there's some other discontinued ones that i don't own that i'm trying to make myself let go and not try to get it but this is aqua okay this is beautiful Oh, okay. They don't make this anymore. Um, but this is so nutty. It's it's really nutty. It has almond. It's sweet. It's very. It's not. I wouldn't call it necessarily gourmandish, but it is very nutty. And it's a very, very, very pretty fragrance. I layer this with. I don't know if you guys have Trader Joe's near you, but they come out with the Brazil nut butter um, washes and body creams and lotions. I think there's something on my head um lotions and things like that and so I use that and I layer it with this and it's so good y'all it's so good um but like I said I'm trying to use it sparingly because I love it so much and I'm afraid that I'm gonna run out of it <laughs> so when I found this I didn't necessarily put the two together originally um but this is mixed bar whipped almond 
You can get this at Target. I think you can get it on, you might be able to get it on Amazon. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I love this, y'all. This is nutty and sweet. And I was like, you know what? Let me see if they smell alike. So I sprayed them both and they smell alike. <laughs> they smell alike. Okay. So I'm so happy. If you never smell Donna Aqua or you want it or you used to have it and you don't have it anymore, go and get you some mixed bar uh whipped almond okay because these smell so much alike i feel like there's there i wouldn't say anything is a 100 percent dupe of anything but they smell pretty doggone close pretty 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 doggone close so yeah those are dupes in my opinion okay so those are the dupes that i have found just by using different fragrances just by owning them by smelling a bunch of things by becoming a little scientist and doing my own concoctions um so i really really think i found some pretty good dupes of fragrances if you have any of these in your collection please try them out smell them next to each other tell me am i crazy Am I crazy or do you think these are dupes of these fragrances as well? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to those of you who have already subscribed. I really, really appreciate you so much. I thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support on my journey here on YouTube. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying to do my thing because I'm passionate about fragrance. I'm also passionate about beauty. I'm passionate about a lot of different things. You know, when I have my heart in something, I give it my absolute all. So... I hope you're enjoying this content. Let me know if you are. Let me know if there's some videos you'd like me to make or some fragrances you want me to review or, you know, whatever. You know, I want to hear from you. So thank you so much again. And like, comment, subscribe, share. You know, I have to say all of that. I hope you do. And until next time, I love you, love you, love you, love you.